<sighs> Dinosaur Simulator. I feel like it was just yesterday I was booting you up for the first time. Back in the day with Megavore and Albino Terror. Only then. Only I could go back then. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Alright, and hello everyone. And what you were seeing is real. There is a new game that isn't a new game. It's basically just recreating the old Dinosaur Simulator. Um, I think this is like... I've heard people talk about this in the past, like, ages ago. And... I don't know, I, I never took much interest in it because I didn't think it'd be good. Um, and I most certainly didn't think it would be to this much of a T. Um, I thought it would just be like someone's take on Dinosaur Simulator. Um, well, since they have completely, you know, at this point stopped developing Dinosaur Simulator and are working on whatever the hell they're working on, um, this is what we got now. Uh, so some developers... Um, or just people uh, are now developing this game. Uh, from what I know, this is this is this is all their code. They did this all themselves. This is none of this is like copyright crap for before people start commenting on my video, you know. Um, but yeah, it's it's really cool. Unfortunately, we don't have our progress from Dinosaur Simulator. That is one thing that is a little like crappy, but if you really care that much, you could just go play the current version of Dinosaur Simulator. Um, but I think this is really cool because it's kind of like, you know, reliving the past a little bit. You know, you're coming in here, it's original Dinosaur Simulator, like, uh, look how old some of this shit is. I mean, you don't even have the new Megavores and Albino Terror, um, and you have nothing. I mean, I don't know why I have Allosaurus or Baryonyx, I don't remember those being free, but I don't care, I have them. Um, but yeah, you kind of get to like start from the beginning and and and, and do everything again, um, which is kind of cool, um, you know, because at this point, like I'm, it's just kind of nice to be able to like relive that, you know. I'm I'm not even mad that I don't have my stuff. Um, so apparently, how this is gonna work is that there's gonna be eras. So this is like I don't know, I don't even remember when the game was like this. Um, I think this could be like 2017 era or something. Um, oh, that was fast. Um, but, yeah, th whatever this map was from. And then, kind of like how the maps work, I think you would be able to, like, uh, change eras of Dinosaur Simulator all the way up to the 2021 era of Dinosaur Simulator, which I don't even remember what that was either. Probably because it sucked. But, um, yeah, so as you can see, we have, like, the, the OG, OG T-Rex here. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'd actually be even more excited if we could even go a version down from this, right? Because this is pretty old. But, like, what if we could go to, like, when I, I first started playing Dinosaur Simulator, I believe in, uh, maybe, like, 2016 or something. And uh, there was, like, this one map. Uh, it was, like, a, the one of the most, like, original maps. Um, and, uh... I, I believe uh, Albino Terror had yet to get his remodel, so... And I think it was the year that Megavore was released. Originally, Megavore was a T-Rex skin. Uh, and then they made it into its own thing. So, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, Albino Terror had... I think it would in, like, the next few months, but it had yet to get this, this remodel. Um, so, yeah, and then Megavore was out. Um, but that, that'd be cool. Um, as for the more, like, futured versions of the game, I don't know. As of right now, I don't really care for that. Like, I, I really don't. <laughs> uh, I really like what we have here. Of course, I think we are missing a few dinosaurs and stuff like that. And, of course, we are missing a lot of the skins. But, you know, it's gonna take time. Um, well, this is really cool. This is definitely has me excited. Uh, which is weird because I've yet to be excited for anything related to Roblox in the past, like, two years. So, kind of cool. Um, oh, okay, so for, for Trudon, though, they have the, the newer model, which is interesting. I also see that you can't buy these guys yet. Also, this is the... No, this isn't the newer model of Giganotoraptor, but... 
there was a model before this one. Um, but yeah, here here you are uh, as a Triceratops. If the game looks different a little bit, it's because I have color correction on for um, for my uh, recordings and stuff like that. So it just makes everything more vibrant. But you know, if you go in on here on your PC, it, you know, which I will leave a link to the game in the description below or the comment section, um, it'll look you know normal. Um, but yeah, as you see, I don't know how someone already has a hothead megavore, but yeah, that there's that. Um, and you gain you gain DNA all the same. I, I will say the only thing I, I I am missing is the little cubes or pixels that would go up to the, your thirst bar. Um, it doesn't look like you can hold the drink either right now. You and or eat. You have to click it a bunch, uh, you know, which is fine. Um, eating still has that original satisfying sound um, right here, but but. Yet again, unfortunately, no no pixels. Um, that is the only thing that, from what I can tell, is really missing. Um, but yeah, this map, I wasn't crazy about this map. I, I liked the map before this one. That was the original map for me that I started playing. Don't get me wrong, still had tons of memories on this map. This map was cool. Um, but yeah, I am hoping that we will be able to go a little further back. Um, not super, because like, I, I, I know there was versions of dino sim that like were dumb old oh, oh my god guys my pvp skills i'm gonna get clapped here i haven't found anyone in, in dino sim in forever i don't even have control lock on i i can't uh do thing. i'm gonna get killed by a pterodon this is like actually upsetting I've, I've lost my touch guys i'm a dino sim noob i cannot hit him damn that's tough here we have the maps and we have Gullis Island. So all the maps were made by them from going through old videos like mine, um, which I found absolutely hilarious because I, I thought I, like I would look at those videos every now and then. I'd be like, yeah, what the fuck? What, what was I doing? Um, but I just find it funny that someone actually had to use those. Um, but yeah, here, here we are. This is a... Uh, Gullis Island for any of you that remember it um, and it looks like it might be bugged a little bit I think I am under the map right now which I actually yeah okay this this could be fixable hold on <laughs> uh, unless I die of oxygen so all right yeah spawns might be a little bugged right now um, but hopefully that can actually get fixed. Uh, we shall see, but here you go. Now we're at, uh, in some cave in the middle of nowhere. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> it's not help when you can't select a flyer because you don't own one yet, but all good. So yeah, Ghost Island was like the Easter map. You know, I'm, I'm sure all who watch my videos know exactly what I'm talking about because half of my subscribers are from either the Isle or Dinosaur Simulator. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I, I didn't really have much experience on this map just because it was super buggy. Uh, you know, I, I didn't also feel like spending the time to transfer over to this, but I do vaguely remember this map. Uh, I just never liked to play it because you would just get RKO'd like every two seconds, like you would just die. Um, <laughs> like you can, especially, you know, me, I, for a good duration of my dinosaur simulator career, I did own the Albino Terror and Megavore. Um, until I had lost them. I had a count before that Dino Guy one, believe it or not. Um, I forgot the name of it. I think it actually might have been like Relieved of Metrodon um, or something. Uh, but that was my original account that I, as a stupid kid, had forgotten the password to and lost all my stuff. And one day, I don't know how, but I had found the password on a piece of paper hidden in my drawer somewhere and traded my albino terror and megavore back here and then lost them to scammers in trading um not intentionally i remember i was on my ipad this is back in my mobile days and uh someone was bugging me or whatever the heck and i had left the ipad there and i think i had accidentally misclicked it a trade and the most absolute tragic way you could lose something but i don't know how but eventually i ended up getting it back through like the avianchus or something i don't really remember but yeah, having that animal or dinosaur, I never wanted to be on this map because I would just die. And I didn't have a lot of like uh, friends to play this game with. Uh, like, you know, I had like my, my real life friends, uh, or I should say friend, I only played with one friend. 
who I would play on occasion, but eventually they didn't play anymore. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't really have too many, like, online friends that I met through the community on this game. Uh, or at least that I <laughs> felt like playing with, I don't know. Um, but this is really it. So, yeah, if you really miss OG Dino Sim and you want to go and play this, uh, you definitely should. Uh, I'm... Funnily enough, I actually might find myself playing this in my free time, uh, which is really, really weird. Uh, and I don't have a lot of free time these days, so uh, I think that says something. So you should go check it out. Uh, I don't know how long the development's going to be for you know any of you looking forward to more future versions. I'm also sure that the other maps are going to come in, like the winter map. But you have to understand that all of this they are trying to do um, originally, you know, to avoid all the copyright BS. So they have to go and find reference images and, and they're, they're really putting in their blood, sweat, and tears to make these maps, you know, nice and accurate. So, uh, you know, it's not just like a normal development process. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, that is, that is it. Uh, so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Peace.